Hey guys, today we have an unboxing from the cubicle.us. So honestly, this package has literally been delayed for, I don't even know, it's been a ridiculous amount of time, so uh, about three weeks, the cubicle completely forgot to send it to me, and it made me kind of mad, but it's here now, um, a lot of these products have already been like reviewed and everything, and I pre-ordered like all these things, or two of these things in here, so let's just see what we have in this box. Okay, I'm just going to pull these things out one by one. First things first, we have this six colored uh, hexagonal die pyramid by, I have no idea what company. Uh, that would be Landland or something. I'm gonna zoom up too. So I can get all these puzzles on camera. So yes, this is the six colored Landland hexagonal die pyramid. I have also this hexagonal die pyramid, which is basically the same thing, but it doesn't have all the colors that this one has. It's just a different color scheme and, um, yep, pretty nice uh, puzzle. Now let's look at the, what is this? We have a bunch of puzzles in here. This is a massive unboxing. This is some type of puzzle. I'm not really sure. I completely forget what I ordered. Huh. Um, didn't order this at all. Maybe this is a gift they sent me for, for being really late. But I, uh, a yellow mirror blocks. I never ordered this. Whatever, I guess. Then we have the... Uh, this, I've been waiting for this for a while. It's the Diamond Skew by Lanlan. This is just a ridiculous amount of puzzles I ordered, and it took a really long time. So I've been waiting for this puzzle a long time, and I've, I've always wanted to get it. It's a skew shape mod, and um, I don't know why I haven't bought it yet, but... Yep, pretty standard, pretty cool. Um, centers are split into, I think, four now. Actually... No, it seems one color, but the corner is four colors, so that'll be an interesting solve. Then we have the infinite, infamous concave cube. Um, a lot of bad reviews on this puzzle, but I've always wanted it. I know it's going to pop probably as soon as I turn it, but um, it's not too bad. I've heard it's really unstable. I bet you could just pop a piece out, but... Um, yeah, it looks pretty nice. It's really more concave than I remember it being. I did try someone else's out, but yeah, this is actually nice. It's holding together quite well right now. Then we have the Kong's Design. What is this one? I ordered both of them. Here, let me get the other one out too. The Here's both Kong's Design puzzles. Uh, this one is the Mei Ying, and this one is the Yu Ying. So let's open both of them and do some first turns on both. So I can't get these mixed up. This is the Yu Ying. Oh wow, okay, this is a really nice puzzle. It's pretty clicky, pretty bumpy. It's fast out of the box. This is one of the best puzzles I think I've ever had out of the box, except for like an hour long, but wow. Okay, let's try the Mei Ying. This one comes in wrapped. Um, just get rid of all these paperwork here. Okay, this comes like the normal Moyu puzzles, wrapped in the plastic here. There we go. Okay, I can tell the two apart. They have different sticker designs. Let's try out the Kong's Design Mei Ying. Well, it's definitely a different feel compared to the uh, Yu Ying. A lot more crispy, a lot more clicky, a lot more light in the hand. This feels more like an Along. And this feels more like a... I don't know, it kind of has its own unique feel. It's really light, not really blocky, but I like it. It's they're, they're two different puzzles. I like them both. Then we have the Shang Shao Aurora 2x2. This is going to be a, one of the biggest unboxings on my channel, if you haven't noticed. I, I, I'll count the puzzles at the end that I have gotten, but uh, I actually really don't care about this box too much. Okay, I've had, there hasn't been very many good reviews on this puzzle, and I got it in white because I don't have any white 2x2s, two two, and I thought, why not? So, let's do some first turns. Wow, okay. Um, off the bat, it feels like a Shang Shao win mixed with a Diane 2x2. Two two. Uh, there's a little bit of locking up, as I can see on this puzzle, but um, 
the shades are nice. It's actually not too bad. It do can't corner cut 45 yet, but um, I haven't played with the tensions and lubed it. So yeah, that's actually really nice. Um, glad I bought that. Okay, we've got a bunch more here. I'm going to get into some of the new stuff. Pre-ordered this. Just came now, which is ridiculous. Uh, the YJ Yoohoo Mega Minx. Everyone's heard about this. It's not really that big of a deal anymore. Uh, how should I open this? Oh, it's taped. Okay, so everyone heard about this. Hopefully my spring or my screws aren't bent. And wow, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. And eh, sticker is a little messed up there, but let's do some first turns. Okay, well, off the bat, it's pretty good. I can tell it's better than my Shang Shao, and it's much larger, and the end ended pieces are really nice. Um, it's rather large, and it's kind of wobbly, as a bunch of people have said, but um, I'm not much of a Mega Minx solver, but this is probably going to be my main, without a doubt. I mean, I haven't even added lube to this, tension it, or anything. Yes, very nice puzzle. I really like this. Really nice. It's a pretty good feel, too. All right, only five more cubes left. This is the Shang Shao Aurora. I have the Shang Shao Wind, and I wanted to get the Shang Shao Aurora. So here it is. This is basically a Florian modded wind. So let's do some first turns. Okay, it feels exactly like my wind did out of the box. Here's my wind right here. I have uh, this logo on it for some reason, but this one's a lot more lubed and faster. But um, at least this one can corner cut now. Um, Feels like it's smaller. Might be. It actually looks like it's a millimeter smaller, but um Yeah, it's a pretty nice puzzle. It's not gonna be my main, but um, you know, I just thought I'd get it. It's pretty cheap. Um next. Alright, well let's just do the Diane Pyraminx. Also pre-ordered this and just came now, so that's rather sad. Just got it in black, so now I have all the major pyraminxes. Um views on this thing are split. I hope I like mine. You know? It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's as bad as people made their reviews. I think I got a good one, I guess. Um, it's not as clicky as a lot of people say it is for them. Corner cutting's pretty good. Wow, I think I got a good one. <laughs> Me and DGQs are like the only people that got good ones, so... Um, I like mine. To be honest, I, I might become my main. I might use this for nationals. I'm going to be honest. But lubing and tensioning? I haven't even done that yet, and I already like it. Wow, okay. Um, I am i don't know what to say, because so many people hate that thing. <laughs> uh, mine's really good. And we have the Shang Shell Rainbow Cube. Just thought I'd pick this up, because it's really cheap. Open this up. Doesn't even come in. Oh, no, no, this isn't the... Shang Shao Rainbow Cube. This is actually a Cyclone Boys Feiwu. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, a little bit slow out of the box. A little bit sluggish. Um, wow, it's interesting and the pieces in there. Um, it's nice. It turns pretty good. It's just a really cheap cube, and I'm just gonna get one for now. But I might buy um, six more just to have get Force Cubes and. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. I like the shades. Uh, the orange and the red use a little bit of work, especially on the camera. It looks terrible on the camera, but in real life, it's not nearly, nearly that bad. Um, like that. I've always wanted that thing, and it's been a while since I've really ordered anything. Then we have the Key Sale 4x4. Um, getting the YJ Yusu and the Cyclone Boys 5x5, um, soon. So, let's just see what we can do with this puzzle here. Um, I have so many 4x4s now, it's ridiculous. But, you know... I want to try the new ones, you know. Oh, wow. Okay. Right off the bat, this is much bigger than a 4x4. Yeah. Look at the size difference. This is an Alsu. Not a regular size Alsu. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. I was not expecting this to actually be good, but it's actually pretty good. <laughs> I like the size of it. I'm going to be honest. A little bit locky. Um, on the inner layers. Um... This is actually a pretty nice puzzle for right out of the box. I wonder how corner cutting is. Okay. It's reasonable for something like this. It kind of feels more like a toy than any other puzzle I've played with in a while. Um, it's pretty good. A little bit slow. Could use a little bit of work. But, um, that's okay. I like it. 
now we have one last puzzle, and this would be the uh, Land Land Gear Tecker. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Here, let me see here. It is pronounced. Landland Gear Tetra Deco Dodecahedron, something like that. Okay, Gear Dodeca, whatever I just said. Okay. Um. Oh wow. Okay. These are gold stickers. That is very weird. It looks yellow on the thing. And okay, it's definitely just a gear cube shape, my lot. I can already tell. Um. Okay. I enjoy this already. It turns nice. Um. Doesn't have anything special to it. It's not like a mix up or anything, right? I'm just, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Very interesting colors, um, like the gold. I was not expecting that. So, uh, yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing from the cubicle.us. And, uh, this is a massive amount of puzzles. Let's just count them out right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Puzzles. This is 111 or something dollars, something like that. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit late. This is a gift they sent me, which is really random. I already have a mirror blocks. It's a shang shao. But um, so this is a really long video. But I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Bye.